video is for class 7 students and today we are doing page number 24 in from your gk book and the topic is elements okay so we are doing something from the science so from the subject science so let's start children element first let us know what is an element an element is a substance that cannot be broken into simpler substances by ordinary chemical pr processes and consists of atoms which have identical numbers of protons in their atomic nuclei. So you must have learnt in your chemistry that an element is a substance that cannot be broken into simpler substances by some ordinary chemical process and it consists of atoms which have identical numbers of protons in their atomic nuclei so let's start children first we will name the element as the description is given i'll show you the pictures and we will fill in the blanks number one an orange pink element used for making electrical wires and cables so you must have seen the picture this picture this is of uh, uh, the picture or uh, this is orange pink in color and usually this is the element which is used for making electric wires so this element is known as copper so you will write down copper c o Okay, children so this element is copper number two turns into liquid at room temperature also known as quick silver so here you can see this is a liquid at room temperature and also known as quick silver and this element is known as your mercury okay so you will give the name mercury you'll write mercury okay students now number three let's go to number three children let's see a white colored element used in developing photographic negatives so it is silver so it is a white color element and it is used to develop the photographic negatives so this is your silver so you'll write s i l v e r okay so this is number three number four a deficiency of this leads to a disease called goiter so this is iodine okay children so this is your iodine so we'll write i o d i n e iodine Okay, children so this is the picture of silver and the next one is iodine and this is the picture of iodine so this is um, the picture of iodine due to the deficiency of which leads to a disease called goiter okay next we are moving on to number five used in the process of galvanization while electroplating an iron object so this is known as zinc okay as you can see the picture zinc so we'll write down in number five zinc z i n c zinc okay next we are moving on to number six used for giving a white polish to costume jewelry it's rhodium here you see the picture of rhodium so this is the element which is used for giving a white polish to any costume jewelry decorative jewelry okay so let's uh, write down rhodium the spelling for rhodium will be r h o d i u m rhodium okay students so number six is rhodium next we move on to our next exercise given in your book that is number b 
the symbols are given and you have to name the elements you have to identify the elements number one cu it's copper once again so we'll write copper c o p p e r copper okay next au au is gold okay children so we so you can see the picture of gold out here so it's gold g o l d gold next pb PB the symbol of PB and it stands for the element lead so we are going to write lead out here L E A D lead okay children next AG AG stands for silver and this is the picture of silver so let's write down silver children S I L V E R silver. Next we have got H G H G. So H G is a short form, it is the symbol for mercury. Okay, and here is the picture of mercury. Okay, so we will write down mercury out here. M E R C U R Y Mercury. Okay, students. Now let's move on to our next, the last one. That is S N, and S N stands for tin. The symbol S N is for tin. Okay, so this is the picture for tin. So we will write down tin out here. Okay, T I N. Ten. So with this we come to the end of this exercise children. So today we'll do only this much in elements. This much for today children. Okay. Thank you very much children.